Forces and processes affecting the Earth's crust. The Earth's crust is subject to a variety of forces and processes, both internal and external, that can cause it to deform, fracture, and shift. Here are some of the most important ones. Plate tectonics, the Earth's crust is composed of large, rigid plates that move and interact with one another along their boundaries. This movement can result in earthquakes, volcanic activity, and the formation of mountains. Volcanism, magma rising from the mantle can create volcanic eruptions, which can result in the formation of new land masses and the release of ash, gas, and other materials into the atmosphere. Erosion, the gradual wearing away of the Earth's surface by wind, water, and ice can cause mountains to erode, valleys to form, and coastlines to change. Weathering, the breakdown of rock and soil by physical, chemical, and biological processes can also alter the Earth's crust over time. Earthquakes, the sudden release of energy from the Earth's crust can cause seismic waves that shake the ground and can result in damage to structures. Tsunamis, large waves generated by earthquakes or other disturbances in the ocean can cause significant damage to coastal areas. Glaciation, the advance and retreat of glaciers over time can cause significant changes in the Earth's crust including the formation of valleys, lakes, and other features. Human activities, human activities, such as mining, construction, and drilling, can also impact the Earth's crust and alter its structure and composition. Volcanic activities Volcanic activity refers to the release of magma, ash, gas, and other materials from a volcano. Here are some key aspects of volcanic activity. Types of volcanoes, there are three main types of volcanoes, shield, stratovolcano, and cinder cone. Each has a distinct shape and eruptive style. Eruptions, volcanic eruptions can be explosive or effusive, depending on the viscosity of the magma and the amount of gas trapped within it. Explosive eruptions can release large amounts of ash and rock fragments into the air, while effusive eruptions produce lava flows. Hazards Volcanic activity can pose a variety of hazards to human populations, including ashfall, lava flows, lehes, mud flows, and pyroclastic flows, superheated ash and gas. Volcanic eruptions can also cause tsunamis if they occur near the coast. Monitoring, volcanoes are often monitored for signs of activity, such as earthquakes, gas emissions, and ground deformation. This information can be used to predict eruptions and issue warnings to nearby communities. Benefits, while volcanic activity can be dangerous, it also has some benefits. For example, volcanic ash can enrich soil and support agriculture and volcanic rocks are used for construction and as a source of minerals. Overall, volcanic activity is a natural process that has played an important role in shaping the Earth's surface over millions of years. While it can be hazardous to humans, it also has ecological and economic benefits. Volcanic Features Intrusive Features Intrusive features are landforms and structures that are formed by the cooling and solidification of magma beneath the Earth's surface. Here are some of the most common intrusive features associated with volcanic activity. Plutons Plutons are large bodies of magma that cool and solidify underground. These can be several kilometers across and may take millions of years to form. Examples of plutons include batholiths, stocks, and dikes. Sills Sills are tabular bodies of magma that are intruded between layers of pre-existing rock. 
They are typically horizontal or gently inclined and can be several meters to hundreds of meters thick. Lacolids. Lacolids are mushroom-shaped bodies of magma that are intruded between layers of pre-existing rock. They can be several kilometers in diameter and several hundred meters thick. Volcanic necks. These are solidified magma that fills the conduit or vent of a volcano that has become extinct. Dikes. Dikes are tabular or sheet-like bodies of magma that are intruded into fractures or falls in pre-existing rock. They can be several meters to tens of meters wide and can extend for several kilometers. Batholiths. Batholiths are large plutons that are exposed over an area of at least 100 square kilometers. They are typically composed of several smaller plutons that have been intruded over a long period of time. Extrusive features Extrusive features are landforms and structures that are formed by volcanic activity on the Earth's surface. Here are some of the most common extrusive features associated with volcanic activity. Lava flows. Lava flows are streams of molten rock that move across the Earth's surface. They can be highly destructive and can travel long distances from a wind. Volcanic cones. These are mountains that are formed by the accumulation of lava, ash, and other materials around a wind. There are three main types of volcanic cones, shield volcanoes, stratovolcanoes, and cinder cones. Ash and tuff deposits, these are the materials that are ejected from a volcano during an explosive eruption. They can be transported long distances by wind and can accumulate to form thick deposits. Aeroclastic flows, these are fast-moving, superheated clouds of gas, ash, and other materials that can race down the slopes of a volcano at speeds of over 100 km per hour. Volcanic domes, these are steep-sided mounds of viscous lava that accumulate around a wind. It can be highly explosive and can be composed of thick lava flows and ash deposits. Calderas, calderas are large, ball-shaped depressions that form when a volcano collapses after a massive eruption. Lehers, lehers are mud flows that are composed of volcanic ash, rock fragments, and water. It can be highly destructive and can travel long distances from a volcano.